Hello guys, today we're gonna play 1v1 in BFME 1 patch 1.06 on the beautiful map Fangon Forest in a random mirror and we get to play the Rohan faction. That's nice because now we can actually recruit some ants since this is the homeland of Treebeard and his ant friends. Okay, let's get it started. Alright, so we're gonna build two farms and also recruit the Hobbit Mary every single time. Pick up the draft from the spellbook and now we need to wall check. It's an evil faction. Mordor or Isengard. And that means we need to play aggressively. Because against evil factions on a map like Fangon Forest, you wanna you wanna be more aggressively with Rohan, you know? Otherwise, they're gonna get a lot of money from this uh, settlements they can build lumber mills on. They will get much more money than the good factions can. Okay. Uh, let's pick up the farms and also we can recruit many many more peasants later on from the farms inside and also outside of the base. That's the power of Rohan early game. And now we can try to creep the goblin lair potentially at the bottom right side. But first of all, send them forward. Uh, I'm not gonna go for the attack. I wanna get my peasants to level 2 first. This way they're gonna be much, much stronger. Alright. Oh, it's Isengard. El Clasico matchup. I like that. <laughs> nice one. Rohan against Isengard. Let's set some waypoints and this way we can actually try to pressure one of his mills. Ah, he was already using War Chant. That's gonna make him deal 50% more damage and 50% more armor. But once again, we are able to recruit multiple peasants from the farms inside but also outside of our base. And that's gonna be also very important to keep up the pressure and also to keep our settlements protected. Okay, uh, let's try to not lose Mary. Uh, but he was actually not getting cloaked for some reason. We can also use him to kill the goblins. Use drafts, because without draft, our peasants, they're gonna get one-shotted, okay? And in a one-on-one -on -one situation, nobody beats Urukai as a swordsman, because Urukai are the strongest, the fastest, and the best-looking swordsman in the game. Okay, let's get, uh, try to get our peasants to level 2, maybe. Let's make some more peasants, and, you, you, you know, there is no reason of us rushing this table here. Uh, and use always the early game advantage from Rohan. In a map like this, you have multiple settlements and you can use all these settlements as like a barracks pretty much. Okay, so uh, let's make some more peasants, buy this farm as soon as possible. Now we will have one, two, three, four farms outside under our control, which is very, very nice. And five actually now, even better. That's gonna make our Rohirrim quite cheap because farms, they are, they are gonna give us food bonus, okay? Okay. So now we're gonna try to save for the stable. Uh, let's hope we are not gonna cash flow because I'm watching multiple things. Let's fight them. In a 2v1 situation we are able to win because he has no longer war chant. Keep that in mind. We are also able to defend this one nice so. Okay. Uh, but our peasants are tanking the damage for no reason. Oh, we're gonna lose the peasants, right? But we have one more coming luckily. This fight should be in our favor. We are cash looting build up the stable. There we go. Keep your spirits high! I've got him now. I'll do my part. Um, always try to not cash load. Cash loading is a bad thing. Trust me on that one, okay? Oh, be careful with Mary. We were able to get stealth just in time. Our peasants, they're gonna get level 2 after being done with the lair. And now we can, we can get the money from the ground. We have actually so much money now, we can also fill up our base with multiple farms. Okay. So in a one-on-one -on -one situation, if he doesn't use war chant, uh, our level 2 peasants, they're gonna win this fight for us. And also our hobbit Mary can spot them. He can turn and fight. Running away is not an option against Urukai because they're gonna catch us regardless. Because they are faster, like mentioned before. Yeah, it's a bad fight because he was using war chant. But it's fine, we're gonna have to Rohirrim on the field very soon. And the first Rohirrim we wanna always use to pressure. We need to kill the mills as soon as possible. Otherwise this Isengard's player is gonna get rich. Trust me on that one. Okay, I mean, luckily we have also a lot of money. Uh, we have, like mentioned before, five farms outside. And that's gonna mean we're gonna, you know, have a lot of money resource income pretty much. Our hobbit is gonna be able to defend. We can also keep making peasants. There is absolutely no reason for us to stop making peasants. They're gonna have always some value against Isengard. And they are one of the cheapest counters to the pikemen as well. And also the Isengard player will be forced to make pikemen to counter our Rohirrim. If he doesn't make pikemen, our Rohirrim are gonna crush him. And when he does 
recruit pikemen from the barracks or uruk pit we can counter that with our own peasants from the farms outside okay kill this mill first with the rohirrim how dare you lumber mill workers this is the magical forest fangorn okay this is the homeland of tribute you can't touch those trees saruman Okay, one more Rohirrim, and once again, there is Lourdes, but it's, it's fine, it's fine. We can just focus down the mill, and after getting the mill, we can always disengage. Lourdes level 1 doesn't deal too much damage, and he won't be able to kill us fast enough. Keep pressuring all the time with the peasants, like mentioned several times. And now we can disengage after taking down the mill. We can also purchase the settlement right there with a farm. Creep this goblin now at the top right side, by this farm, there we go. And now we can use our hobbit's Mary to cloak him. This way, even after taking down the settlement, he won't be able to buy the settlement for himself. Okay, we have a well coming up for the sustain over time. They have almost 2 power points collected and if you are wondering why I am not going for the heal, it's because I want to save for the elven allies. Elves are nice against uh, Isengard because this way we can counter his pike spam eventually. Use whatever weapons you can muster. Drive them out. Break off. Our ah, are under attack. Okay, get the money. And now actually we can maybe try to creep one of the troll layers. And the way we're gonna do that is we're gonna use two of our Rohirrim. One of them is gonna be the bait, pretty much. He's gonna lure the troll away from the lair. And the other one is gonna be focusing only the only the lamb, as the troll is gonna chase the first battalion, if this makes sense for you guys. Let's do this. Alright, so once again lure the troll away from the lair with the first battalion, make him follow us. We can also even lure, uh, lure him to the lords, and the other one is gonna just focus down the lair. This way we're gonna get the experience, the power points, but also the money from the lair itself. I was using Warchan on the crossbow man, this is not gonna work out for you my friend. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh my goodness, this troll is gonna chase him down, right? <laughs> it's Lord's level 3 actually. No, he is not, he's level 2 only. Oh no, poor guy. <laughs> run, Lord, run for your life, brother. And you can see yourself, right? Uh, Rohan peasants, they cost only 100. They are a great counter to the pikemen from Isengard. And Isengard pikemen, they are even costing 300. So it's a nice situation for us. And he will at some point be forced to go for the uh, Warp Riders. I mean, I'm not gonna go for the for the armory actually. I mean, we can, no, let's let's skip the armory because I wanna go for the ants. That's the homeland of Fangon Forest. I mean, of the ants, sorry. And we need to get the victory in this game by recruiting uh, ants only, okay? We're gonna try to save for the 5,000 after taking down this mill and then we're gonna build the end mood right there because the end mood costs us 5,000 resources, okay? Oh, how dare you, lords? This lord is a mean one. Why, you know, why would you kill our Mary? Come on, come on. I mean, we can't creep this one actually with the Rohirrim matches, but we can try. And we have almost the money now, there we go. End mood is coming up, ladies and gentlemen. The protector of the Fangon forest, the ants are going to war. Come, my friends. The ants are going to war. It is likely that we go to our doom. Ah. I mean. Yes, pikemen there, but we can counter that by making more and more, um, say it, more and more peasants from the farms. We are in a good spot. And he has forge plates and heavy armor. That's gonna mean we're not gonna be able to one we want them anymore. But we can still deal a decent amount of damage to this pikemen. Without draft, it's impossible. We always need to use the draft. Oh, what? <laughs> use draft? Okay. No elves need it right now. We don't need elves. Okay, the last spot in the base now can be saved actually for the armory, but we can also try to. Make even some, some more ends. Let's go for an attack. Creep this one at the same time. Multitasking is the key to victory in RTS games. And make this troll follow us. And the ants are going to war. We're gonna save for tribute. We're gonna save for tribute. Okay. I mean, the ants, you don't take them. Oh, we're gonna trample them down. Lords, 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 lords. You're gonna die, my friend. Ping! <laughs> lords, no way. Lords is down. 
And the ends, as you can see and tell, they are taking almost no damage from arrows. He's calling it GG. It's over, pretty much. Three bitties on his way. And Isengard, get out of my forest. This is the homeland of my friend, Treebeard, okay? You are not allowed to touch, uh, touch this. You are not, you are good, not medium. Okay, I have to admit, this is a 1v1 medium room. I was kind of smurfing, and you can also see my username. It's Fiesta. <laughs> but, you know, there was nothing else to play for me, guys, so don't blame me, please. Uh, Alright, guys, that's it. A short game, but I hope you're you gonna know, still enjoy that one. I see you next time. Until then, take care of yourselves, and as always, stay beyond standards. And also, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. See ya.